Hi guys, Chief from ProDrones. So we finally got the RTK module. Uh, we fit it on the aircraft uh, and decided to go out and do mapping. So this is the area we decided to cover. One of the things that it changes is once you fit the module on, you'll see there's a new RTK uh, menu and uh, you can then connect to your Entrip provider, right? Or you can connect to a DRTK2 uh, base station or you can have a course network to connect to. Okay, so I copied out the data from the memory card and you can see here that it's got the date, uh, time, and the format is standard as what you see in uh, Pilot 2. Now if we open inside, now you have additional uh, data, which is the uh, observation and navigation files. So if we look at the previous one, it only had the marker file. So this time we have the observation data and the navigation data. This is for post-processing. The rest are the same. Uh, the images are embedded with the same kind of data inside. Now we right click and we check out the metadata. Let's just go straight to the XMP. Okay. So here you will see that we run the flight with the uh, mechanical shutter. Uh, you will see that it even has the data where for the correction the source was. Okay. With the accuracy. and it was in surveying mode with here you can see the remaining lifespan of the mechanical shutter so you can see the shutter count here and this number will only appear when you turn on the mechanical shutter okay so uh, once we crunch the data so this is the data set where I've already taken the same reference points used for the previous data. Um, and here you can see the accuracy for the three points averages out to about 15 centimeters. So this 15 centimeters is uh, rather large. Um, we will investigate to as to why this is the case since um, everything is uh, corrected and reference uh, re relative to the uh, course network. So it's the same uh, standard for reference and the same location. Um, we'll actually investigate why this is the case. But uh, at the moment, it seems that um, maybe there's some kind of offset error or something like that. But it's still less than one pixel of error. So it's still considered pretty good. Um, it would exceed uh, the requirements for accuracy uh, if you follow the ASPRS standard. So, um, so far it looks pretty good.